Shalom. This is the 18th Shira on Sejus Vayikra, and we are going to be looking at Sejus Bahar, Parik Chafhe, Pasuk Yud. And the Pasuk says, the Pasuk says as follows. He shall sanctify the 50th year and proclaim freedom for the slaves throughout the land for all who live on it. It shall be a, a Yobel year for you, a Jubilee year for you, and you shall return each man to his property. You shall return each man to his family. Okay, so we have a debate here between Rashi and Ibn Ezra exactly what the word drawer means. Drawer means, in a colloquial sense, means freedom. In other words, all slaves will become free this year. So let's look at Rashi. Pasuk Yud, Dever Hamasa, Karasa, and Drawer, La Vodim. Means for the slaves are called free. Ben Nirza, Ben Shelo, Kulo Lo, Sheshanim, Kishanimkar. Right? So whether or not, um, it doesn't make a difference what kind of a slave, even after a slave is a slave for six years. But after the sixth year, if he wants to stay longer, he can. He gets his ear pierced to show that he, uh, he didn't listen to the idea that you should be a free person. And then he goes free. But here on the Yovel year, on the, when it comes to the 50th year, no matter, not the 50th personal year of his slavery, but every 50 years, they announce that all slaves are free. He can go and live wherever he wants, and he's not under the, uh, the rule of anybody else. That's Rashi. The Ibn Ezra, if you look, uh, this is Pasig Yud, the Ibn Ezra says, on Dibre Maskel Dror, Yeduav, Hu Kamochavshi. Everybody understands what this word means. It means to be like free. Chedor la'of, like a free bird. Of kata, menagin shu bershuso, right? The idea, it's like a little bird that, uh, that needs its freedom. Vimhu bershus adam, loyachal ad shiamus. And uh, if he's in the, if once he takes, once he becomes captured by somebody else, so then he's captured, and if he's set back to be, uh, to be a slave, then, like, to be captured by somebody, then he dies. So it's the same thing. This slave is completely free, not under the rishos of anybody else. Okay, that is the, uh, that's the machokas between Ibn Ezra and Rashi on this puzzle. Uh The real chachma is obviously going to come with your analysis, which I can't wait to hear. Shalom.